Grizzlies are solitary animals, and at the start of spring, hunger makes them even more dangerous. So when an adult male approaches a group of young bears, they know it's time to stop the games and make a rapid getaway. In times of hunger, the adult bears are capable of killing and eating young of their own species, so it's probably best to take no chances. The climate has also determined the vegetation of Alaska. Wherever temperatures permit, the land is covered with coniferous forest. Their small leaves, the needles, are not shed in the winter, which permits them to take advantage of the warmer months from the very first day. And this they do so effectively, they block out almost all the light. Except for the moss that covers the forest floor, few plants are capable of living in their shade. Trees with deciduous leaves, less well adapted to the cold, have to take refuge along the shores of the rivers and in the more protected areas, and that is where the large herbivores go in search of them. The spring brings fresh vegetation, an irresistible feast for any moose. Like the bears, they are solitary animals. The only groups outside the mating season are mothers with the young, and these are precisely the most dangerous because the mother will allow no one, not even one of her own species, to get close to her young. An absent-minded moose has come to drink at the same pool, unaware of her presence. The calf doesn't seem to mind the intruder, but its mother does not exactly welcome visitors and it's not long before she approaches the stranger to make her position clear. There have been cases of female moose killing people who got too close to her young. In a land of bears and wolves, the most dangerous animals of all are, paradoxically, the moose.